Okay, another thing that, uh, that's very important about pivot tables is that if you add data to the original data source, there are some additional steps that you have to take here. All right, so I'm going to pick on the data menu over here. And this is where our actual data is. Uh, now I'm going to go down to the bottom row. Okay, now this uh, spreadsheet actually represents um, uh, airline transactions. So I want to type in today's date. And I'll put my first name in. I'll put my last name in column C. Uh, so let's uh, column D turns out to be the office, and column E is the destination. So let's say we're flying from Philadelphia, and I'm going to land in Cancun. And let's say column F is the amount of ticket. Uh, let's say that would probably be about $600. And let's say I need two tickets. And uh, column I is whether that's a commissionable sale or not. I'm even going to type in another transaction. So I'll type in today's date. I'll put in my first name, my last name. Uh, let's say this time I want to fly from Cancun to um, back to Philadelphia. And let's say that's going to be $600, two tickets. Okay, so I'm going to expand column D so we can see what's going on in there. Now, if I go back to the pivot table over here, notice that the destination of Cancun is there and the destination of Philadelphia is there, but obviously that transaction was in January and it didn't show up yet. Uh, now, even if I do a refresh, if I pick on Options and Refresh, notice how those numbers still haven't been updated. The reason for that is that the additional step is you have to change the data source to include the additional rows. I'm going to pick on Change Data Source, Change Data Source. Okay, so notice how it's going to I-80, whereas those additional rows are on rows 81 and 82. So I'm going to change the range to include those two new rows. And I'm going to click on OK. Now I'll do a refresh. And now you can see that those transactions now wound up in January for Philadelphia and for Cancun. So this is a very, very important lesson when you're dealing with pivot tables. When you go back and add uh, information to your actual data, that when you add additional rows, you have to go to the pivot table, pick on the options menu, pick on change data source, and make sure you include those, uh, those new rows. Otherwise, they simply will not be picked up uh, in the pivot table. So that's a very important lesson.